Good morning, my little dumpster fire babies. How is everyone doing this morning? I hope that today is off to a wonderful, fantastic start. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Carrington. Even if it's not your first time here, you've been here a time or two, but you have not yet hit that subscribe button or click the little bell, I absolutely invite you to do so. If you enjoy testing out new makeup, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And let's go ahead and let's dive on into what we are testing today which is a lot, I feel like, maybe, kind of. So I have some more Unearthly Cosmetics lashes. This is in the shade Heavenly. I feel like these are gonna be perfect for an eye look I kinda sorta have in, in mind. I don't know how well it's going to look or work, but I have an eye look in mind, okay? Like, that, that's just the, that's the important part. I have this from Sephora. This is one of their Sephora blushes. We tried out another shade, but I wanted to give this a try because I'm wondering if this is a very similar dupe to like the Dior Rosy um, blush, rosy glowy blush, glowy bl rust. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, so I want to try this out. If I can open it, this is okay. necessarily no oh, no this is yeah this is probably gonna be another dude okay I'm excited for that then uh, I have this from melt this is the ultra matte gel liner so I am excited to use that I want to see what that's like I just do um, I have this from undone beauty this is a primer illuminating primer oil this says it creates balanced dewy skin with cooling stainless steel massager I'm honestly Based on how I read this, I think I might put this on before I even like try to do an eye look or anything, like more like a skincare prep maybe, maybe. Um, from Pat McGrath for the holiday collection, we have the highlighter, we have tried out the blush. We have not tried out this highlighter. I don't know, honestly, if this is gonna be too dark for me. I sometimes feel like her highlight, uh, this is gonna be too dark. Okay, it might be a little too dark. We can make it work, I think, I hope, I hope, I hope we can make it work. Um, from e.l.f., I have this camo color corrector. I want to do some color correcting underneath my eyes. Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. I'm a little bit nervous about this. So I did, I like the Good Apple Concealer. That's a great concealer. I love that concealer. But I did not like the one... Oh no, everything's falling. I have the LA Girl. This is like a shockwave neon liner. I'm really excited to try this in the waterline. From Urban Decay, I have the Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. I have from Persona. This is the Jam Blur Stick. Um, I think we had tried a previous blur. This is, these are called, it's called a blush multi-stick. Why did I call it a blur stick? Multi-stick, it's a blush multi-stick. Anyways. We had tried one of these previously. I think it was just like a much lighter pink. So I'm kind of excited to see how well this does. The first one with this didn't really just provide a lot of pigment no matter what you did. So I'm just kind of interested to see what happens there. Uh, I also have this from Kosas. This is the Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. I honestly thought this was going to be like a like tinted moisturizer. This is kind of like a leather like Charlotte Tilbury wannabe dupe. Okay, and that's just what it is. And then last and final, we have these from one size. I have a lip liner that I'm hoping is going to match well with this at the end. I don't know. Or it's like a lip duo where you have like a, like a moussey on one side and it's like a really pretty gloss on the other. So we have so much stuff to try. So if you guys are excited to see what I think of these products, how I would rank them at the end, then definitely... Keep on watching. I also forgot to mention that like we are going to be using out some of these like Laura Lee uh, brushes. She's got some for the face and the eyes. This came out with her holiday collection. I also got the palette. I just haven't had time to use that yet. Okay, I'm a busy lady. And I'm also cutting down to like three times a week. So sometimes makeup's just gonna have to be missed. But before we get started going on into that, I do want to try um, this Undone Beauty, the primer, illuminating primer oil that creates balanced, dewy skin with cooling stainless steel massager. Now this says, why should microbiome benefits require a PhD in skincare research? Oh no. Okay. <clears throat> well, anyways, we undid that with this relaxing roll on applicator that instantly awakens the complexion to create luminous, vibrant skin. 
formulated with probiotics and antioxidants to support skin's healthy appearance, squalene to moisturize, kombucha extract, and sweet cherry to illuminate. Squeeze tube lightly, a little goes a long way. That's literally all it says. For me personally, it doesn't really sound so much like a primer. I feel like for me, it sounds almost kind of like skincare like, um, which I know like skincare can be a good primer. Okay, like you should have a good skincare routine to have a good primer, but I just feel like this being, okay. So it comes, this is like the little thing. I don't know, to squeeze light. Oh, okay. I think that I got some. So I'm just gonna start rolling this around my face. I mean, the, the applicator is interesting because again, it does feel cooling like metal. Is this putting anything on my face? Okay, it is, but I think I may run out for the forehead, which might be fine, I guess. And a little bit here, here, here maybe. I don't know, I don't know if I had enough for my whole face or not. Okay, so first and foremost, this is very, very oil-like, but I can already tell it's starting to pill up my my skin. Um, and all I did today so far was just my skincare, but I did my skincare hours ago. But it's just, it's starting to pill up my skin. Yeah, like, like, do you see that? That's what it's doing. It's starting to pill up my skin. So I don't know if this, if this would be something, I think this would be more something I would prefer to just include with my skincare especially on like a day where I am just out and about and I don't want to wear makeup I do just want to say with the eyes I'll be using a combination but this is a recent palette that I did just get I did just demonstrate it I don't know not that long ago the lore palette I want to do something mm, kind of like pastel I have a whole idea so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go do my eye look so I'm back with the eyes. I did like a little bit of like rainbow. I've never done this before. Cut my crease and then like, I don't know, try to line my lips with my lips, line my eye with liner. And it just didn't work super well, but that's fine. I think it looks, I, it looks how it looks. So now I need to go ahead and I need to put on some like black liner. Um, so I could put on some lashes. So we have this from Melt. This is the Melt Ultra Matte Gel Liner. It's like a little pot and it's in the shade Onyx. I have, ooh. Oh, ooh. That feels very creamy. Ooh, okay. That's nice. Well, that's nice, okay. Look at you go, Melt. Okay. I got a little too much on my brush. I may have gotten too much on my brush. I don't know. I literally just dabbed into it. We will see. I don't know if it's the eyeliner or the brush that's having the tough time. I'm just like putting it down. All right, so we now have the lashes on. I think they went on pretty easily. I like how they're just like nice and just like very fluttery just because I would, there's like a lot going on. So I wanna be able to see it. So I think that this is looking pretty good so far. So let's go ahead and we need to move on into some more of the face. So next up we have this from Kosas. This is the Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. Um, so this is a clean vitamin infused skin enhancer that instantly activates a lit up glow glow wherever you feel it create a beautiful base highlight targeted areas mix with foundation or skincare reflective visibly healthier skin a hint of tint daily dose of skin nutrients safe for sensitive skin dermatolo dermatologically okay dermatologically tested hypoallergenic non comedogenic non <clears throat> acnegenic silicone free free of mineral oil fragrance parabens sulfates and phthalates okay hi so yeah i did so i thought this was more of like a tinted moisturizer because i did get this in like very sheer light so i was thinking like light like this is i don't know the lightest but 
this is what it looks like and it comes like this like i literally thought like this was going to be a tinted tinted like moisturizer it is not it comes out like not well <laughs> it just kind of spits little dots um that is it so let's see what happens and we add this I mean, I can feel a little bit of hydration with this, whereas like the Charlotte Tilbury one um, doesn't really provide a lot of hydration. It just provides like a glow, like the e.l.f. one as well. But this provides a good glow and I can still feel some of that like hydration. It kind of smells, it's not like heavily fragranced, but like for some reason when I smell this, it I almost think cinnamon in a way if you have this or have tried it or whatever let me know if you're the same just let me uh let me know so next up is going to be this from kvd this is a good apple full coverage serum foundation the part that makes me nervous is the full coverage i have dry skin i have textured skin i don't like things that are super full coverage anything like that but i will say the packaging on this is super beautiful it's glass comes with like this really nice pump it looks almost like perfume like a perfume bottle or like hand soap maybe i don't know that's just that's just one thing but it looks it looks very nice like one little dot this is one this is one pump okay like okay all right so this does say full coverage and I'm starting to see the coverage. Yeah, it's not really giving a ton of coverage. So we'll just pump out another little dot. I like to just like kind of take my sponge and just like stipple out my foundations because again, I don't want to go in with a lot especially since I'm super dry, textured. No, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no. This looks so bad, this looks so bad. Oh, great Scott. And then where that oil is, like right here is so much like flaking. Okay, okay, all right. Well, dang, okay. That was more than I wanted. That was like way too much, I think, even though it didn't really seem like it was too much. But that's the part that's crazy. It didn't really seem like it was too much, but it was, it's, it's too much, it's too much. It's too much. Okay, I need to play around with this foundation more on my own because let me tell you, I am, I, it almost feels like I am certain that like, this is not good. Next up is we have the e.l.f. Camo Corrector. I like to use this. This one is for, what does this say? Just says peach. Yeah, that's all it says. It's just peach. But peach is really good for like canceling out like dark circles. And I definitely have some dark circles up in here. As you can tell. Oh. This kind of smells like nail polish. How interesting. Um. Alright. And then I will tap this out with my fingers. And yeah. It does a really good job of covering up my dark circles. I feel like it's gonna be a really long video. I just feel so out of it today. But it's, the show must go on. The show must go on. Okay, so then we have this from Urban Decay. This is the Stay Naked Quickie Multi-Use Concealer that comes in with like this little buff brush. I wonder, I heard, so this is supposed to be like super full coverage like things like that so I'm just gonna put a little bit I don't know if this is gonna be like a fast drying one or if it'll be really nice and creamy so far 
it seeming like it's nice and creamy. Okay. So what I will say is this is nice and creamy, but I did notice it was kind of harder to blend out on this side compared to this one. So I would say I would maybe just start with one side at a time and go from there. But my under eyes are looking good. Like that actually looks really good underneath my eyes. And again, I didn't go in with a lot and I feel like it kind of played well with the color corrector because I don't really notice my dark circles near as much. So, so far I really like this. I'm not gonna lie. I am not a brush under the eye kind of a person. This might be good. I think I've seen people use this as like an actual foundation, like just, you know, all over their face. And they really seem to like that. So that's a, you know, possibility. But overall, I think that looks pretty good. So we are ready to now go ahead and try out this like dream stick, uh, dream stick, multi blush stick in the shade Jam. So this is going to be a little bit more of like a brighter pink which I think will go fine with like our blush so I'm just going to put some here on the back of my hand take like this little brush I'm just going to stipple some onto the brush and then I'll just kind of start I think this will be really fun to kind of like blush drape in with like the kind of rainbow that we've got going on on the face Y'all have to tell me if this looks ridiculous or not because I, I don't know, like I like it, but like at the same time, it's like, it's not as good as like people that have better eye shapes than me, more open eye shapes, but I don't know. I don't think it looks terrible. Like, I don't think it looks that bad. And I think this is so pretty. It's like blush and everything, just mixing everything together. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead. Let's move on into, we're going to try out this. This is from LA Girl. This is a Shockwave Neon Liner. Honestly, somebody asked about like liners or something and these got mentioned as really good liners for your waterline. So I'm here to test that out with our fun eye look today. Oh, actually that is really good. Like my whole waterline is now like this light blue. That looks really good. Huh. These might give my Cupid Arrow one, honestly, like a run for its money because it has good pigmentation too and much cheaper. I think these are like $3, $4. Um, and then the one from nabla the cupid arrow is like 18 or 20 dollars so that's that's good i hope it stays i hope it stays good so next up we're gonna go ahead and we're going to move on into the blush i am excited about the blush okay i'm gonna just start stippling off just a little bit on the back of my hand because a lot did pick up on the brush so let's just see what happens here Okay, let's try a little bit more. Okay. So now we have the highlighter, which is kind of the part where I'm just like freaking out a little bit, but like it should be, it should be fine. I hope this is fine. I hope this is fine. So we're just gonna take a little bit. It's very glittery. So I'm wondering if that's gonna be kind of like the premise of this a uh, highlighter is just that it's really glittery. I don't know, like maybe, yeah, maybe, I think so. I don't feel like it's too dark um, because again, I don't feel like a lot of the color comes off. I feel like it's a lot more of the glitter for this one, like as you can tell, like you can see. I will say a lot of times her formula is a little bit more of like a baked LA where it's not necessarily glitter. Um, and I find like that, I like those a little bit better. This one's a little bit more texture enhancing with all the glitter. Whereas with her other formula, I don't really find that to be the case. So I'm not, I'm not a huge, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Like I'm not like rooting for that one, but okay. What else do we have? 
I think we only have one other thing. So I'll go ahead, we can go ahead, dive on into those last two things, which are the one size lip products. And then I can finish off the rest off camera, including if I need to fix my lips in any way, shape or form. So the first right here is we have the lip liner. So this is in the shade out of line. And this is a wooden pencil, but even though it is wooden, it still feels very, very creamy. I hope this color will go okay. And even though it is creamy, I don't know if you can really see that, it, it doesn't really budge a whole lot. So I like a budge friendly. So I have this, it's like the duo. So again, you get a velvet flex cream and a cushion gloss on each end. And I have mine in the shade Mother Star. I didn't know if I was gonna like these or not, so I only purchased one, but if I like them, I'm, I will I will get more. Hopefully this will look okay with the eye look. I don't know, maybe. Okay, so it has a bend to it, so it was kind of hard to kind of pull out. You have to be a little, a little, uh, So this is really creamy. I love the way it smells. It has a very strong like cupcake like scent or like crumble cookies, like the ooey gooey butter one. That's good. So it does start to dry down matte, but again, it has like that moussey whip texture, but it is starting to dry. It's kind of uncomfortable. So I think, I think for me, I, if I want to wear this, even as a liquid lip, which I usually prefer a liquid lip, I will have to wear a gloss. Like, there's no question. Yeah. And just look how shiny that is. So here is the completed and final look, testing out some new makeup and trying out something I have never tried before. This is very interesting. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. How do you guys think of the, what do you guys think of the completed look? Yes, no. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's dive on into the ranking portion of today's video. So I'm gonna go ahead, rank everything we tried. I'm gonna start from my least favorite to my most favorite. So my least favorite so far is going to have to be this KVD foundation. I will need to try this, probably not with an oil underneath. I'm wondering if maybe those two, they just don't, do not get along. I do know that it's definitely full coverage. I don't think, yeah, I think it actually does match the skin fine. I was a little bit panicked about that, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine, but I don't know. I'm wondering if it is like the oil underneath that is just not going. So I do want to try it with like the primers that like I really like, um, with the skincare I really like, everything like that. But even then, it is just super full coverage. It was kind of a lot, uh, even with it looking that bad. I'm just wondering like how how much, I think it's, I still think it might be a little bit too much for my dry skin. I know this is geared towards more oily, whereas the one in the compact was geared towards more dry. I didn't care for that one either, but what se la vie. Next up is going to be this Undone Illuminating Primer Oil. I don't find this to be have to do anything with um, priming of the face. I think this would be great if you would like skincare um, and you want something that's really glowy and radiant, you know, before you go out the door for the day and not wearing any makeup. I think that would be great because it does pr provide a really beautiful glow. It's a really nice feeling oil. But it just, I mean, I don't think these two played together well at all. And I just, and it, I don't, it wasn't playing with my skincare either. It was just balling up, gumping. It just, it, it just wasn't my favorite. Next up is going to be this from Melt. It's the eyeliner. I think it's nice. It's, I don't feel like it's overly black, like super black, like some of my other liners that I have that are in like a, like a pen form, but it is like very, very soft. It's hard to get off, but again, it's super, super soft that the brush just kind of like melts into it, but I just don't feel like it really puts on or really packs a whole lot of a punch. I just feel like it just goops to the brush and kind of wants to stay there. Um, so it's not my favorite pot liner. It's not even my favorite eyeliner, like even close. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's all right. 
Next up is going to be this from Kosas. I was so deeply disappointed this was not a tinted moisturizer. I do really like this for giving a really pretty glow to the skin uh, without it being like super drying. It does like provide like hydration and a glow. So I really, really like that. I like the way that it smells, but like, I don't know if you can still tell, like my hand is still very, very, there we go, like a luminous with this. Like this is definitely going to be something that like your hands and everything else is just going to be illuminated. Um, but I think it's a good product. I wish it was. I wish it was like a tinted moisturizer or something. I don't know. I don't know why I want that so bad now, but I do. Next up is going to be this from e.l.f. It's the color corrector. It was a good color corrector. I didn't have any issues with it. It's just not the most exciting thing out of all the things that we tried. It just isn't. But it is a very good color corrector. I had no issues. I think this is like $4. Truthfully, $4. Great deal. Next up is going to be this from Urban Decay. It is the concealer. I will say you do need to work with this pretty quickly. I would start with one side, a dab on one side, blend that out and continue to work from there. This is definitely going to be a little bit, this is definitely going to be that full coverage. This is definitely going to cover up anything. I don't know, I you know I can't say like, how good is it without this because I've only tried it with this. So I will have to do this in like another video as well. Uh, next up is going to be this little blush stick. Um, you know, it's a good blush, you know? It looks like it's gonna be a lot deeper than what you get on the face. And I, I think that's just like the kind of thing with like the Persona blush formula is that it is one where it just kind of blends out and that's not a bad thing. I, I prefer other blush formulas compared to that. Um, for me personally, LYS, fantastic. Rare Beauty, also fantastic, but also do know you just need a dab of, of Rare Beauty and you're good to go. Um, I, I would even choose like the e.l.f. putty blushes maybe over these. I just, I, I think they're like okay, but there's just ones I love more. The About Face that I just discovered, loved those. Next up is going to be this from Pat McGrath. It's the highlighter. I was nervous it was going to be too dark. Um, it is not. I think it's really, really pretty. And I do like the highlighter because, you know, you can definitely, like, see it whenever I turn and stuff like that. Like, it's nice. Um, but it just is very glittery and a little bit more texture enhancing where I like more of her baked gelé. I think this is supposed to be, like, the baked gelé, but I'm just getting a lot more... Uh, glittery vibes than I do from the other ones. I'm not sure if that's just me. Let me know if that's just... Next up is going to be the lashes from Unearthly. I always like Unearthly's um, lashes. They're very, it's a very, very thin band. Um, and so sometimes I find like with thin bands, I have a harder time like getting them to like stick on super well, but I don't have any issues with these. These bend nicely. I'm able to like put them where I need without any issues, without, you know, one side lifting. You got to put that side. Well, now the other side's lifting. I don't have any issue with that. It's not like so thin and flimsy that it's like useless, but I do prefer something that's a little bit thicker, but it's, they're, they're very good lashes, especially for the price when it's like $6.50. Next up is this going to be this Sephora blush. I thought this was really, really pretty. Um, I've used another one before. These are ones that definitely do take some like building up, but they do have some really bright, fun colors. So if you're somebody that's a little bit intimidated by blush, you don't want something where you're looking like, what is happening? Like what's going on on my cheeks? These will probably be great for you because of the blend up, because of the being able to build up. But for me personally, like I have ones that are like from like Give Me Glow, like those are super good. I really like the Dior one. Um, so I will say this is a pretty, pretty solid dupe for the Dior one. Next up for me are going to be these Laura Lee Los Angeles brushes. These are very, very nice. They're very, very soft. I felt like they worked with the product beautifully. I had no issues with them. Um, there's a lot of different brushes. Like she's got a lot of eye brushes. She's got a lot of different face brushes. There were just like a lot of options. So I was really appreciative of that. Um, and I think she did a fantastic job with the quality of them as well. Next up is going to be this eyeliner. Again, it's just like it's in the waterline and it's staying. Um, and so I kind of want to compare this, see how well this wears compared to like my Nabla. I may, because I have a Nabla that's like this, I may have to compare them one day. Like put one on each side and see which one I like more or if they're comparable. Because if they're comparable, um, I think that the Nabla ones offer more like choices, but you can get a ton of these for super cheap. 
Next up is going to be this like lip duo. I really liked this. I don't really care so much for using the liquid part, the liquid lipstick, the whip part by itself. That's just not something that I'm really into right now. Um, Cause it's just, it's drying. Okay. This stuff like this is very drying and I usually like liquid lipsticks, but I don't want it to be drying. So I would definitely have to use the gloss, but I think they pair together so well. My lips look really nice, healthy, juicy. It's a really nice color, especially for like everything that's going on on the eyes. I could have maybe went a little bit more nude. No, no, I probably couldn't have. I couldn't have, no. Next up, second place is going to be, again, this uh, one size lip liner. It is a wooden pencil, but it is so creamy. It is pigmented. It glides right on. It feels so comfortable going onto the lips. That's something I'm, I think I'm gonna really like. The one sad part though is I feel like this lip liner is pretty tiny, which is not a bad thing because I mean, I don't really ever use up a whole lot of lip liner. So that being tiny is like a, you know, it's like a good thing. So number one is again going to be this Lure palette. I did incorporate some other palettes to get this look, but for the most part, like this shade is right here on the inner. I've got this shade that's like right here. I've got like this shade mixed with this shade here this shade here the rest of this is like um in another palette but for the most part i use this i thought it was beautiful again this is a pastel palette where like the pigment is just there um there's not a lot that you have to do to like work with it it's not finicky or anything blend bunny has an amazing formula that's a fantastic palette that i would recommend time and time again today's video i hope that you all enjoyed if you did definitely give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click the bell thanks for hanging out with me see y'all my next one